that this is the end of the club that you really swing. At that time in 1957, almost all teaching emphasis was on hands and or club head. Almost all teaching. It just so happens you do not swing the head of the club and you do not use the hands to swing the club. You use the hands to hold the club, but you use the forearms to swing the club. And when I'm asked to explain what swing the handle means, that's not the easiest question in the world to answer. But I had that question posed to me on the practice tee at St. Andrews in 1968 by none other than Jack Nicklaus on the, a, on the eve of teeing off the next day. He came over, I was working with Tommy Kite at the time, and he walked from down the line there was Ballesteros, there was Raymond Floyd, and there was Tommy Kite, and here comes Jack Nicholas. And I'd known Jack since he was 14 years old. And he addresses me, and he says, you believe in swinging the handle, don't you? I said, yes, I do, Jack. He says, well, tell me what that means. Just what does that mean? So here I am at the home of golf, St. Andrews, asked by the greatest player maybe the game ever knew what my teaching philosophy is just like that. And it occurred to me, another voice from the blue, Jack, you're a tennis player, aren't you? Yes, I am. I said, well, the golf swing and swing the handle is no more than a two-arm tennis stroke. When you see the tennis players go to their double backhand, they're making a perfect little golf swing. And he, he looked at me with this passive look in his eyes, and didn't say a thing, just did an about face, went back down the line to his pile of balls, and that was that. Now whether he took any of that to heart or not, I have no idea. But I do know he won that British Open starting the next day. But that to me is the, is the best description of what a golf swing is all about. It's a two-arm tennis stroke. This golf club and that tennis racket are exactly the same thing instrument-wise, in that you have the same three component parts. You have a handle, a shaft, and a head. The tennis player holds the racket at the handle and he or she uses the forearm to stroke the shaft of the racket. A golfer, who might be a great tennis player, picks up the golf club, and he gets a fix on the head of the club, and he starts influencing the head of the club rather than the handle of the club, and there begin the problems. And those problems will compound the rest of his life. But if you can make the analogy between the two instruments, because they're exactly the same in that they have the same component parts, handle, shaft, and head, and stroke the golf club as you do the tennis racket, all of a sudden the, the swing begins to make sense. And it's easy to convey that to a student as well. 